the big ones they should beep and the small ones they should not look at that difference is uh, the distance between uh, VRAM and also the heat gun is around uh, less than half a centimeter hello and welcome back to channel guys uh, today now um, I'm dismantling this MSI Trimin Froza 3 a beautiful card in gold color and uh, I just bought it from eBay and uh, trying to find out what's the problem because it's the fans they are turning on uh, in the computer when we put the power on and uh, it's not showing any kind of display at all so the first of all the best idea is to test the card with a continuously mode uh, this is fully automatic uh, multimeter so we can connect into these ports one by one yeah. upper and lower if there is beep so that makes like sense it's short so the first connection is not showing any kind of short second is, is not short there's no beep and the next one is not beep next one is not beep so no beep and the last one finally is not beep so that makes like sense we can test into the computer i have already as i said before uh, i was just going to show you how to do that uh, as soon as you get the, any kind of damaged card so you need to you need to do first of all the first step is to test with the short so there is no short now we will dismantle it First of all, you need to remove these four uh, screws, which is direct connect uh, connected to the main chip, and that most likely you can separate the PCB and uh, the heatsink and fans uh, from the main chip. Now, just pull out the cable of the fan. As you can see, this person could. Uh, this is a kind of fresh um, paste, and somebody already tried to fix it with the, renaming the paste on it. But I can see a little bit dirt here and there, so that makes like sense that he never opened actually the complete. Uh, he never separated actually this main plate so we will see to remove everything By the way, this is uh, uh, this is a card which is uh, made by MSI, and uh, the chip is AMD here. It's R9280, I believe. So it should come out. Oh, sorry. One is left here, and two I can see for this main plate. 
these ones as well. So if there is no short, uh, what I do most likely because I fixed a few cards like this that to clean it first of all give it to give it to it cleaning with the toothbrush I can see kind of moisture or a dirt inside which can make a short circuit so we can remove everything by cleaning with the brush This helps uh, 10 to 20 percent at least you have chances to fix the card like this because it's not showing any kind of short so there are some chances we will see carefully the best idea to remove properly you can use uh, alcohol thing so it can take out everything better clean Okay, that's the first step. Now I will test into the computer if that works or not. Let me show you. Okay, we put this card into the computer after cleaning and see any kind of good result. And also, we will test the main chip is getting hot or not. Alright, so card is connected. The cables, they are connect this one, turning it on and also I will keep an eye on uh, the detaching of the chip itself is to see or to know if that is getting warm or not. So basically chip is not getting warm at all. So chip is not getting warm at all. There is no voltage, I believe, so there is, it's not passing the voltage at all, so it's cold properly. Now we need to see the fuses, it's not showing any kind of display. You have to think. No, 
now basically we will test uh, the fuses first of all and to the continuous mode should be the multimeter these kind of uh, MOSFETs you can test it from the body actually it's uh, these big ones they if they beep from the top the big ones that's okay so big ones are beeping and the small ones they are they should 12 volt as soon as I connect the power and it should it should show the 12 volts here so but it should not beep onto the continuously mode so you don't hear any kind of beep so it seems like there is no short into these MOSFETs they are most likely the, the goes now we need to test the fuses because this main chip is not getting hot at all so there could be any kind of fuse issue but meanwhile we'll test other components as well so this is a 5 volt chip so one side is 12 volt and the other side should be 5 volt it should not short it should not beep on the both legs these are two for I think it's a VRAM controller the big one as I said before the big ones they should beep and the small ones they should not so it's not beeping so we do not we do not see any kind of short here to test the fuses first of all uh, we can see the one fuse is here let's see the fuse first of all that beeps that means this fuse is fine we have a couple of more here that beeps is fine it's beeping is fine we have two more here Beeps fine, and the second one is beeping fine as well. So basically, these fuses are fine. There is no problem I can see as far. Uh, also, we do not have a PCI slot short. So the basically we cannot find any kind of short uh, the fuses they are seems to be okay we do not see any kind of short here but it's not showing any kind of display so what we do we will try our first attempt to give the heat on these components the VRAM chips this main chip will give it to the heat also we will give to heat to other components like this which has got too many legs on it and uh, before we apply the heat we will uh, warm it up with slightly heat, uh, slightly with the hot air gun and then after that we will apply a little bit flux onto the edges 
the aim is to apply the flux on these ones to to put, push the flux into or under the connections of the main chip then we see what happens so first of all we turn on our heat gun melt it a little bit the flux so it's melting up it will be easier to apply and uh, it's melting now we need to just put a little bit heat in the on the edges of the main chip and now start applying like this And slightly you can use under the V ramps as well because they can cause uh, if there is any kind of disconnection or corrosion then you cannot see the picture that can be a problem as well so just use on even if you use on the all sides four sides then it will be great then but we we try with one side only of each it will be dark brown after that uh, when we cook it properly then uh, we can still clear it with the petrol or uh, alcohol so now we will apply the heat with the closely like this kind of distance on each VRAM first of all look at that difference is uh, the distance between uh, the VRAM and also the heat gun is around uh, less than half a centimeter and you might be able to see that the bubbles they are coming under the VRAM uh, basically the flux is spreading up around under there we need to just keep it like for 10-15 seconds on each VRAM then after that go to the other again 10-15 seconds on each RAM not too much time and then to the other This little bit smoke is fine, that's 10-15 uh, seconds, uh, it does not make any kind of harm to the chip or uh, to the main board PCB. The smoke is actually coming from uh, the flux we, uh, which we applied. So that's burning actually, so that, that's not a problem, it's absolutely safe. As I said before, 10-15 10, 10 seconds, not too much. we need to apply the heat like this 10-15 seconds on each ramp as soon as I put the direct heat onto the ram ramp then you can might be able to see into the picture that the bubbles actually comes or pops just under there which we applied the flux onto the each ramp we need to be very very careful when we apply the heat like this so components they can uh, slip away so that will be a big issue you have to uh, put the new balls in there with using this stencil and uh, it's a it's a big process 
if you if you move if you touch it while it is hot so it can move so we do not want it to do we do not want it to move these kind of you know uh, chips from their original uh, places where they are already fitted or uh, they are sitting on there on this PCB you can use this heat on to the other components as well which are small chips small ICs Each chip you can use like 10 to 15 seconds uh, close uh, heat and then remove it. Now finally we are starting onto the main chip. It's a GPU main chip we need to we can hold it like at least a minute or two to get the proper result. Start from center or middle of the chip then also you can slide the air slowly slowly to full chip like this as you can see the the bubbles they are coming from the bottom because we have applied the flux over there so it's getting hot that's a good sign so use it for a couple of minutes give it to the heat to this main processor close like this less than half a centimeter and you need to make sure that you don't touch any any component or any main chip in that situation while you are uh, putting you know you are applying the hot air on it now we can use like from the side so it can go the hot air can go from bottom side as far inside as possible the flux is melting and also bubbling this is a good sign just move around all over the chip slowly slowly until it goes like uh, in the, into the room temperature we need to keep it as it is we don't need, we do not need to move it because what happens if we move it and sudden move can slip the chip or any of the chips whatever they are staying in there if they are in a proper hot position or condition then they can slip away and then it will be a big big hassle uh, you need to be professional in that situation to put the chip back onto the right position with the right connections so we have applied the heat now we need to wait until this goes like into the normal temperature then we will try and test into the computer again and bear in your mind I started I tested it because 
uh, the fans were actually spinning but the chip itself it was not getting hot as soon as we we connect the power into the computer so let me wait for 10 minutes right so 10 minutes they are passed and uh, <coughs> this chip is uh, it's on a normal temperature so there is no problem at all to test it again so what I do the next step I will test into uh, with the external power supply to make sure if the processor is getting hot or not because there is no point uh, to test a display into the computer itself if that is not turning hot so we know this is not fixed yet we connecting the cables power supply this power supply I'm just connecting only to, to see if this main chip is getting hot or not before it was not turning hot at all so we see now turn it on the power supply is on the lights are on and uh, the chip is not getting hot unfortunate thing so that makes like sense there is another problem so we, we will see something with the multimeter if the voltage is coming and where the voltage are coming at all uh, this is on the negative We see first of all these kind of components uh, they should beep the big ones they should beep and also it's showing the 15 ohm I think this is normal on the big ones on the big ones is normal and the small ones should show 12 volts so this this is uh, for the VRAM I believe and it's showing into the 78 ohms which is I think it is normal which I heard now we see the small is showing 10.86 volt so basically you can, uh, you, can uh, you can think you can imagine the 12 volts they are coming into there you can test these kind of uh, MOSFETs from top of the body and uh, all of them seems to be fine yeah we don't see any kind of short onto the MOSFET and it's showing the voltage so that makes sense this is working and our chip is still normal there is no heat at all So here we can see 1.81 volt which seems to be fine and now we check the 5 volt uh, 10 volts on this side basically so you can see the 12 volts and this side should be 5 so 5 volts they are coming this MOSFET should be beep yeah it's beeping and this this one should, should be yeah so basically this is fine now we test this component yeah showing 12 volts so basically this is positive side this should not beep at all so basically this is beeping so I I can imagine I'm not 100% sure but this is positive side there is a positive marking on here and there so that makes like sense this is a positive and this is a negative negative should be but positive should not beep so in that situation uh, 34 ohm
34 ohm so basically the same resistance these both components uh, our problem could be somewhere <coughs> in this area what I think but meanwhile we can test these uh, modules as well <coughs> 76 ohms so this is VRAM this is for the main chip <coughs> 16 ohm 16 ohm 16 so all of these are 16 ohm so basically it seems to mean this uh, this power uh, area is fine it seems to be fine but the problem is somewhere here We see the capacitors. These capacitors will give. We can check the voltage from here. So this is the negative. Is this side? So it is showing actually 1.92 ohms. Uh, You can see the plus minus is uh, some of them they are on the other side, the some of them they are on the opposite side. So we need to check which one is which. So this is negative, this is positive. It's showing 16 ohm. Uh, there should be voltage. So this could be problem because of this problem is coming from that side, I, which I presume and uh, should be connected there as well. what I'm thinking it could be any kind of fuse as well but that's what I am actually learning about this as you can see I have uh, too many of these uh, R920 X and they are similar kind of boards all of them they have got actually similar type of problem some more as well in that area in the boxes so we need to find out uh, I am requesting to somebody who knows about this kind of problem they can help me and uh, we can make more videos so it will be helpful for other people to find out exactly what is this problem because I have already tested everything uh, almost and uh, we tested the voltage from this area uh, this area as well so if somebody know they can comment or they can write uh, a comment or they can just copy and paste the link uh, to fix the similar problem so we can learn and then I will make another video to fixing it to show you guys to fixing this kind of problem into the AMD boards this is AMD 280x I think I believe so as far as we can see the power is coming this side but uh, it's showing ohms here it should show a plus voltage here but it's not showing the plus voltage so I seen it one video which were they were showing that these MOSFET could be problem but I'm not 100% sure because uh, we need to or might be we can replace and then see if there is any kind of result because at the moment they, they, there is no power into the main chip so let's wait for the next video uh, this is a part one video you can consider and uh, we'll make another one where I'll find out the problem exactly what was the problem uh, as I said before in the into the previous video that I'm still learning and also I'm sharing this uh, my uh, experience or experiment with you guys so it's a better idea to 
to know somebody if somebody is trying to be fixed or new learner because every expert actually was one time or one day he was uh, a learner as well like me so at the moment I am learner and uh, showing this small experiment to other learners as well so if they in the meanwhile if somebody expert can see this video and they can write it down comment or they can link or share a link into my comment section <coughs> and just to see to know or to let me know how to fix this one then we're gonna make another video so that will be helpful for everyone so thanks for watching uh, see you in the next video meanwhile uh, I will I will search and I will find out how to find you know how to fix this and what I am thinking at the moment to to change this MOSFET and this MOSFET meanwhile uh, I have already ordered from the aliexpress.com uh, the parts they are on the way I think within a week time uh, the parts will be with me so after that I will change I will replace these parts and then after that we see if that that works and if that works then I will share that idea I will make another video part B or part 2 or episode 2 to share the uh, experiment or experience or knowledge with you guys so please uh, like on to this video and subscribe to our channel to, to know uh, the next video when it comes so it will be much helpful for everyone thanks for watching see you in the next video take care bye thanks for watching universal information and entertainment TV please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos news information and entertainment see you in next video stay tuned